Indonesia, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, strongly condemns the provocative act of burning the Quran by a Swedish citizen in front of Soder Malam Grand Mosque, Stockholm, on Idul Adha. The ministry says the action really hurts the feelings of Muslims and cannot be justified. To get an update on the latest development of the issue, we are now connected with Indonesian Ambassador to Sweden, His Excellency Kama Pradipta Isnomo. Excellency, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. And uh, if I may dive into this issue directly, Excellency, this is not the first time this kind of incident happened in Sweden. So uh, in your point of view, what's happening? Well, it is certainly an unfortunate, repetitive uh, occurrence in Sweden. Like you rightfully said, this is not the first time that it has happened. And uh, this is a very regrettable and very uh, unfortunate uh, series of events that happened uh, since last year. Uh, following the incident, uh, myself together with the OIC member countries uh, who are uh, represented here, uh, presented our strong uh, best and strong uh, regret of Sweden by which uh, the letter was sent directly right after the incident took place. And during that same day, uh, including myself, received a response from the Vice Foreign Minister of Sweden, who expressed regret that such incidents did happen again, and that this incident is not a reaction of the position and of the government of Sweden. However, this is something that uh, an occurrence that is highly uh, assured and guaranteed by the constitution of Sweden or by freedom of expression and freedom of media, freedom of media are very much in this country. Excellency, this incident has uh, received strong condemnations from uh, many parts of the world. Uh, but let us ask you, how is the condition or, or the mood of the people in Sweden about what's going on? The mood here uh, is somewhat somber and at the same time uh, cold. Uh, this has certainly uh, something that has occurred in the past already. But I must uh, say that the Islamic community here are facing this uh, unfortunate incident with much uh, sense and much regret that indeed such occurrence have been allowed to happen again. But overall, the situation within is relatively calm. Uh, immediately after the incident took place, our city and myself reached out to all our citizens uh, who are living in Sweden, asked them to not remain, uh, asked them to remain calm and not to be uh, easily provoked by this uh, incident. Excellency, could you tell us more whether the Indonesian Foreign Ministry through the Embassy of Sudan has formally launched a uh, protest about the matter? Well, like I said earlier, uh, during the first day when the incident took, took place, uh, myself together with other OIC ambassadors uh, launched a letter of protest to the Swedish government, uh, expressing our uh, regret and uh, anger that this, ha this uh, unfortunate incident has occurred again and again. And during that same day, we did receive a response. Uh, I myself received a response through a letter from the Vice Foreign Minister of Sweden, uh, expressing that his regret this incident has happened, and that this does not reflect the official position of Sweden. Last question, Excellency. What do you think the impact of the incident uh, to Sweden internationally? Well, the immediate impact is the current Sweden's desire to join the Treaty Alliance of Atlantic Treaty Organizations. Uh, as you know, ever since the uh, Ukraine conflict, Sweden was one of the few, first few countries who have expressed uh, desire and interest to join NATO following the uncertain security condition in Europe. 
that with this later days of incident which took place during the, the day of Idul Hada, I think that there will be an uphill battle for Sweden to apply its membership to NATO. You know very well that Turkey is also a member of NATO, and Turkey has again and again and again expressed their displeasure of Sweden's uh, inability to act on matters such as uh, burning the, of the Quran. And I think it certainly will be uh, something that will be felt uh, immediately by the government of Sweden. Thank you for your time. Is there anything else you would like to add about this issue, Your Excellency? Well, of course, uh, myself here uh, at Sweden, we will continue to engage uh, proactively and constructively with the of Sweden. We will continue to express our concern, our extra regret, and we will continue to uh, encourage Sweden to uh, reconsider uh, providing uh, blackjack assurance and rights to anyone expressing their freedom of expression and at the same time uh, hurting and also provoking Muslims by burning the Qur'ans in this country. Once again, thank you so much for your time and thank you for talking to us, Your Excellency. We wish you a good day. Thank you for having me. His Excellency Kama Pradipta Isnomo, Indonesian Ambassador to uh, Sweden.